first lab so people can see the production of the skincare. And allow ramp access down to silver link. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the, the, the first generation, second generation retail parks and what we wanted to try and do is just explore how we could break that down. I think this is a really challenging ask for the architects because not only did they have to think about how they could design a future for these parks which do face real challenges in the internet age, but they also had to introduce a real element of future gazing given that we're talking about 2030 which is some time away. The competition is a two-stage contest. The first stage was a conceptual design competition and then the second stage uh, involved um, a charrette for the final six teams that we selected. So in between those two stages we needed to get a short list or rather a long list of ten firms whittle that down to six with presentations to a judging panel including judges from the AJ and the Crown Estate and some external judges and also taking them to a real retail park near Newcastle called Silverlink so they could apply those concept designs to an actual park. Although it is a competition there is not going to be one overall winner so I think the idea of that was to kind of make it a bit collaborative, reduce the, the stress levels so that people would perform at their best. We also consider like just in the very far future to take over some existing units. To give a glimpse of how these rethought structures using the existing steel structures from the shops. They really mixed practical solutions with um, high creativity and they'd really thought about how the shoppers and retailers would be thinking about the shopping more experience in the future. So we want to bring in... A it's been really fun, it's been level. really exciting. You know, really seeing how a client like the Crown Estate have been open to some quite wild architectural ideas. And not only that, seeing how those ideas actually have some kind of purchase in the, the, the way that, that they're thinking about the future of retail too. So, so to be part of that discussion has been, has been a real pleasure. Uh, going beyond zero carbon, so looking at the shopping centre as kind of a hub for sustainable energy. Um, it's kind of very local. What we have around the table today are a group of people that come from a range of architectural practices with very different experiences and they're able to bring to that their creative knowledge and talent in order to have a very collaborative effort in organising, talking, thinking through how we can adapt our schemes for the future. This is very much about a dialogue, it's very much about that collaborative process using that energy, that enthusiasm and the different ideas and concepts in order to challenge each other and, and to stress test those ideas to have no sort of preconceived notions of yes we all have the absolute answers here. This is about creating the really exciting destinations for all of us and our families and friends for the future. Visiting the furniture showrooms on the upper levels could go down, meet the makers, kind of actually pick out the type of um, would they want their table to be made out of? If you, if you could set that up as a, you know, as a, as a, as a loop, you can see... It was of... really beneficial for the Crown Estate to see our ideas of what we want to do come to life through the ideas of the architects. It was really useful to do the whole process in collaboration with the architects. It's been really fascinating to see them come forward.